Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you've been doing great. So today I want to talk about how you can use the chat GPT in order to write PineScript code for you. And the results, as you can see, are absolutely amazing. So stick around till the end because I'm going to show you some ways that you need to consider before you write your PineScript code, which I'm going to be telling you along the video. So first of all, in order to access the PineScript or the chat GPT, you can go towards openai.com and from here, it says at the top introducing chat gpt research release so we want to click on this try it will take us right into our chat gpt prompt so here i want to ask it hi and then after that i want to tell it that i'm trying to write some PyScript code so can you help me with that because the reason this is important is it takes into consideration our history of the chat so that it generates relevant results because this is ai at the end so first of all, let's ask it. Um, I'm writing some PineScript code. Can you help me? So now as we ask it this, sure, I'd be happy to help with the specific issue or question. Do you have your PineScript code? So we will not tell this chat to generate code for us. And the way we do this is, can you write a code for EMA crossover indicator? So let's go ahead and see what happens. And here it's generating some code in order to detect the EMA crossover. So let's see what happens. So as you can see, while it's writing the code, it is also commenting the code very nicely because this is very helpful whenever you're trying to navigate around some specific problem that you're facing with your code. So now it has generated the code, it's gonna tell us at the end what this code does, okay? So let's go ahead and copy this code and let's see what it's typing. The script will plot two EMAs with different periods on the chart and the EMA blue EMA crosses red EMA, a green signal is plotted above, indicating a bullish crossover. When blue EMA crosses below the red EMA, a red triangle is plotted uh, below the bar indicating a bearish crossover so this is very good code because if you are new to PineScript and you don't know anything about PineScript with just this one line you are able to write code for EMA crossover and this gets very very powerful as we will go along so first of all let's copy this code and try it out what it has written so now you also need to consider that whatever it's writing it will be in version 4 so here in the PineScript the latest version is 5 but we want to type version 4 okay because our code that the gpt has generated is in version 4 so we want to remove this and paste this here so now without any making any changes let me just go ahead and compile this code and save it to see what this does so if i just save it ema crossover i want to save it and yes so now it is giving us some errors and those errors are very minor considering the code that it has written because these errors are because of the colors so it does not write perfect code but it does the job for us now in order to remove these errors i can just navigate around the code and here you can see instead of using this blue command we want to use color dot blue command okay and similarly in this case here we want to use color dot red and if we go to the bottom we can see color dot green and color dot red so now let me go ahead and navigate around what it did first of all it got the inputs from user which is very helpful so now you can just go ahead and change your inputs to whichever period you want to use for your emas and then it calculated the emas using this ema function and after that it plotted these emas onto the chart after that it went ahead and calculated these crossover and cross under conditions and then it plotted some chips so let me just save it and now as you can see without any errors our code compiled so let's see how it's working if i plot it onto the chart you can see that the emas have been plotted and it also plots these triangles as you can see at above and below these candles whenever there is crossover or cross under condition so now since you're not able to see these very clearly let me just go ahead and increase the size and the way we can do that is size instead of tiny we want to use size dot large and same is here and also here in the plot we want to increase the line width to something above one because these lines are very thick so we're going to say line width 
is equal to three and we're gonna copy this and paste this here as well so now let's save it and as you will see the drawings will become a little bit bigger and it will be easier for us to see now this did become very big so let me just go ahead and size dot normal by the way you can also once you have written this size you can uh, size dot you can also click on this control space to see all the sizes that are available so i want to type the size dot normal and let's save it and as you can see here now it plots these normal sizes so let me just hide this code and show you that it's working correctly let me just move this real to front and now as you can see here it plotted this a green triangle here because there is the cross over happening and here the cross under is happening because blue is moving this red which is that fast EMA is moving this slow period EMA so it plotted this cross under triangle and as you can see the code is working flawlessly now also in the settings we can go to our settings and change these indicator uh, and change these parameters which determine our lengths of EMA also in the settings of this pine script we can give these inputs our own title so let's say here if we say fast EMA the title is going to be fast EMA and similarly this period 2 is the slow EMA so we're going to give it a title of slow EMA so now if I save it and if I go towards the setting you will see that now our fast EMA is this and slow EMA is this now how cool is that because using just one line of code and using some our some of our knowledge we were able to generate this code now here is another trick because as i saying as i was saying the latest pine script version is version 5 and this code is written in version 4 so in order to find more help about this what you can do is just convert this into version 5 so if i just go ahead and go here we can say it convert to version 5 and it will automatically convert this code into version 5 now how cool is that because this feature is built in we wrote a code for EMA crossover using the chat GPT in version 4 and by just one click we are able to convert this code into version 5 now these commands are according to the latest model of version 5 and if there is any error now you will also be able to know which line the error is occurring so for example if i just remove this from here it will throw me an error because we need two parameters to determine ta dot cross under so if i save it and as you can see here syntax at error, error here and it plotted this red line as you can see here so i'm gonna type ema2 and now if i save it as you can see it saved correctly and it executed correctly so this is very cool in my upcoming videos i'm going to be using the chat gpt to write some a little bit more complex codes but for now you can just go ahead and play around with chat gpt and also use it to write some codes for you i hope you like this video in order to stay updated please click on the subscribe button so that you can know whenever i upload the next video also don't forget to like share and subscribe see you guys in the next video thank you